Mark Rogers, TV Talk in Michigan football with the Wolverines taking on the Wisconsin Badgers in Madison this Saturday. We bring in a Steve Dace from Michigan Podcast to help us sort out the action uh, in what is a much anticipated game here in the Big Ten. Steve, how are you doing tonight? I'm well, Mark. How are you, man? I'm doing just fine. So I got to tell you that uh, I think most people across the country that watch the big games each and every Saturday probably haven't seen a whole lot of Michigan football since the Penn State game. So that was obviously a major disappointment. You've played better since then, but it's almost like the Ohio State narrative post-Oklahoma. Okay, they're playing better, but they're playing better against who? So what can you tell us about the Wolverines since that loss in Happy Valley? Well, I think that's actually a really good analogy, but I think the, the difference here is you still had several players, I mean, J.K. Dobbins aside, you, you still have several players at Ohio State that are known commodities, in, including a fifth-year senior quarterback who's the first three-time captain in program history. You don't have that at Michigan. I mean, I think on Saturday um, it is quite possible we will start a freshman quarterback, a sophomore, and two freshmen on the offensive line, two freshmen at wide receiver, um, a freshman and another freshman at tight end, a sophomore at tailback, all right? And that's not even counting the 10 new starters on defense narrative that you and I have discussed in the past, but you're going to see a lot of freshmen, sophomores, and juniors on that, and freshmen and sophomores on that side of the ball too. So um, I, I, while I think your analogy is good in terms of what do you really know about, you know, how much Ohio State's gotten better given the competition they played, and that's true for Michigan too, but we don't really know much about Michigan or how good they are regardless of the competition they play. And, you know, I even go back to last week's game and, you know, that was shaping up to be the perfect momentum builder heading into this game. Uh, you go up 28, nothing. They opened up the offense a little bit more, um, a little bit more balanced, letting Brandon Peters throw the football down the field a few times, one for a long touchdown to promising uh, redshirt freshman tight end Zach Gentry. And right before half, they get an interception in the end zone, run it back 80 yards, and Quinn Nordine misses the field goal. And Harbaugh and Quinn Nordine have words on the sidelines. We go into halftime, and Michigan gets out game by like 150 yards in the third quarter. And, and it's just like, here we go again. Uh, you know, it's a, it, and that game went from, you know, with about three minutes left in the first half. The narrative, the momentum coming out of that Maryland game, Mark, was going to be, hey, they made a statement here today that they're ready to compete in Madison to who are these guys again? You know, it, it's a beat up football team. Uh, Michigan could be without Levert Hill. It's uh, I think all American corner, although against Wisconsin, you know, it's not like there's a receiver there. You have to lock down that. I mean, that's not Alex Horney Brooks game anyway, but they could also be without Karan Higdon as many people saw limp off against Maryland. We don't really know. The status on him we're hearing conflicting reports we heard early in the week that he had a high ankle sprain now we're hearing he's practicing so i don't know but but you know obviously he's done a huge job in establishing michigan's offensive identity so that's a long-winded way mark of saying i don't know <laughs> and i don't think anybody really knows i don't think harbaugh knows exactly I don't, I don't think the players know and that's why i make the analogy post oklahoma ohio state uh, drubbed rudkers maryland Nebraska, et cetera. So before they stepped on the field against Penn State, who knew what the improvement truly was? And that's what we've got with Michigan. 